In this video, I'm going to go over real quick how I uh, did the tapered or swept wing using the arm and build technique. Uh, what I did is started with a complete sheet of Dollar Tree foam, 20 by 30 inches. On one side, I measure 10 inches and make a mark and measure up another 10 inches, make a second mark, and then I do the opposite side, 5 inches, and then make a second mark at another 5 inches. And this is just to give me a reference point on this side on where I'm going to be laying my tape. So first I lay down what's going to be the bottom design and then I will lay down the tape on the top of the wing. Uh, what determines the angle is the uh, mark from 10 inches to the first 5 inch mark. Now after all the tape is laid out, I flip the board over and trim off the excess. I find that the easiest method of getting excess tape off. And then now I'm going to transfer my marks to the opposite side and use that to make my score and remove that piece of paper off of the back so I can then form the fold which will become the foil shape. Next what I do is score my lines on where my cuts are going to be. The first one is on the long side and then on the short side. First I'll remove the long side cut and then I'll make the short cut fold it over and make my next mark and remove that little piece. I'll measure up three inches for a control surface and remove that piece. And now I've got my basic wing shape. Here I measure out where my formers are going to go. I'll use two of them. But first I'll remove off about an inch of paper so I can sand off the uh, edge of the foam and get that tapered edge so it'll lay flat when folded. Now once that's done, I'll glue my formers in place and using one as a reference, these are one inch formers. So I glue the first one in place, remove the reference one out of place, put the second one. Now I'll glue the top of the wing to the formers, let that set, turn it over and then run a bead of glue and set the, the back end and using my fingers I just remove the excess glue and let that set. As you can see here, we've got just about our completed wing now with a arm and fold design. All that's left to do now is make the control surface and finish it up with the kissing tape technique. So now to finish this up, I'll add a little bit more red tape to the back. Using my straight edge, I'll make my score not going all the way through and then break it to make the control surface. And now I'm going to use my little uh, bevel tool to remove a little slice of foam board so we can get the fold going in the other direction. Now that with that piece removed, we've got a working hinge and just clean it up with the sanding block. And now we're ready to tape. But I'm going to first measure off my control surface. I'm going to make it two inches. So I'm going to cut off the excess material here. And then once again, I'm going to use my bevel tool to bevel that leading edge after I get my helper out the way. So once again remove that little strip nice little 45 degree angle and now I'm going to apply the bottom side strip of tape first and fold that over working it into the groove and just working it smooth with the gift card technique And now I'm going to apply the top side of tape, get it ready and fold it over, tuck it under, put the bottom side strip of tape, and then using Ed's kissing tape technique, work it down and smooth it over. Now all that's left is to finish this off, turn it over, trim off the excess, and the wing is complete ready for installation. Now I just need to make the mirrored image. My completed wing here finished at 17 inches across and again that was with a 5 inch cord uh, not counting the control surface a 5 inch cord on the short side and a 10 inch cord on the long side. I hope this video helps others come up with similar tapered wing designs and uh, of course you could definitely uh, change up the ratios where I did a 10 to 5 inch uh, I can easily see where you could do maybe a 6 to 4 or um, even a 
any other ratio in between would more than likely work pretty well. So that's how I came up with my tapered wing design. I hope that helps uh, give others out there ideas on designing tapered wings and look forward to seeing some of the other designs. Thanks for watching guys.